PS curb flashing, U5B, option two. Carlisle's pressure sensitive curb wrap is available for Sure Seal, Sure Tough, or Sure White EPDM. The pressure sensitive curb wrap consists of Carlisle's 60 mil EPDM membrane with a five inch wide piece of Carlisle secure tape pre-applied. This product reduces the total amount of labor that is necessary to flash curbs or wall details. This process begins with the proper securement of the membrane. Measure the perimeter of the curb and add a minimum of four inches. This curb will require a continuous piece of curb flashing 76 inches long. To determine the location of your vertical splice, mark the end of the membrane at four inches to achieve a minimum three inch splice. Apply bonding adhesive to the curb flashing. Do not apply bonding adhesive in the splice area. Bonding adhesive is applied at the rate of 60 square feet per gallon finished surface. Position a slip sheet on the deck membrane to eliminate contamination of bonding adhesive in the splice areas. Apply bonding adhesive to the curb. To make the installation easier, we will use the vertical height and mark this distance on the curb wrap, measuring from the tape. After marking, chalk a line that's used to set the curb wrap. Allow the bonding adhesive to flash off until it passes the tack test and set the flashing to the curb using the line we chalked earlier. Position the flashing starting at the outside corner. Pull light tension on the flashing and wrap it around the curb. Cut and remove the excess material at the vertical splice and cut the vertical splice diagonally. Apply EPDM primer to the deck membrane so that it's free of globs or puddles. Allow the primer to dry. Cut the membrane at the corners to the deck and round the corners of the membrane. Apply slight pressure so the flashing is tight into the angle change and peel off the clear poly and apply hand pressure to complete the splice. Roll all splice areas with a two inch wide roller. For the vertical splice, prime both sides of the curb wrap where the seam tape will lie. After priming, cut secure tape to the height of the curb. After ensuring that the primer is ready, Apply the secure tape to the flashing that is against the curb. Fold over the other part of the wrap before removing the poly to ensure that we do not need to trim the flashing. If necessary, trim the flashing so an eighth to a half inch of the tape is exposed. Remove the poly and fold over the top portion of the wrap. Roll the vertical seam with a two inch wide roller. Complete the corners following the PS15F details.